Right off the top at five, a stabbing suspect in a standoff with deputies in Lutz as neighbors are forced to evacuate in the middle of the night. Now, sheriff's deputies say that this man stabbed an elderly woman it's sometime last night. Good, glad you're with us here on this Tuesday morning. I'm James Tully and good morning. I'm Dia Riley. This is still a very uh, fluid scene right now. We want to get right out to ABC Action News reporter Lauren St. Germain. She's live at the Villa Rosa subdivision. Lauren, is that man still inside the home? James India, yes, he is. This has been going on for several hours now, and I want to give you a look at the scene because since we've been here, we're going to zoom into that RV. We've seen several of those RVs as well as crisis negotiation team vehicles come in. We've seen SWAT team members walk in and out and a lot of Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies. So now we're going to show you some video from, from around two o'clock this morning when our photographer first got here. We know emergency responders took the woman to the hospital and uh, we're actually seeing some more vehicles come in right now. Actually, uh, a uh, Hillsborough County Fire Rescue, if we can come out right here. Well, we're going to try to figure out exactly what's going on because oftentimes when that vehicle comes out, someone has probably been taken out of the house. We don't know if that's going on right now, but this is again a live picture right now. Just after five o'clock, a an emergency vehicle with its lights on going out of this neighborhood. We do know that the man was barricaded inside his home and he did stab a woman several times. That woman is in the hospital. We're not sure of her condition right now. There were also several other people in that house, but they are out safe. We know that deputies also evacuated neighbors in this area. So right after the shot, I'm going to get in touch with Hillsborough County deputies to try to figure out what exactly just went on with that. And uh, we'll bring you an update hopefully as soon as we can. For now, reporting live in Lutz, I'm Lauren St. Germain for ABC Action News.